everyone. Welcome to your 40 minute power vinyasa yoga class. This class is for all levels. As always, I will be offering modifications and you won't be needing any props today. If you have blocks and you know you like to use them, of course, feel free to have them nearby. Otherwise, we're going to get started right away by coming into child's pose. So bring the big toes together, spread the knees apart, resting your forehead on the mat and extending the arms out in front of you. Just taking a moment to right away connect with your breath and connect to this present moment. So really allowing yourself to arrive here. Taking this moment just to check in with yourself, noticing any physical or emotional sensations. Continuing to connect to your breath here. So we're going to start to take more control of the breath by closing the mouth and breathing in and out through the nose. So right away, starting to cultivate heat and connecting to your power. Perhaps starting to cultivate ujjayi breath, so creating a slight constriction in the back of the throat, allowing your breath to be loud and audible. So this helps to allow us to stay more focused, more concentrated. Continuing to deepen the breath here. From here, we'll set an intention for our class today, so what is it that you need to bring or ask or connect with before we begin our movements? And often the first thing that comes to mind is it. So really just trust your intuition here and whatever is showing up for you right now. Go ahead and take two more deep breaths here. And then once you're ready, you can slowly lift yourself up, coming onto hands and knees tabletop pose. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Start to move through cats and cows. So as you inhale, drop the belly. Lift the gaze as you press into the palms, coming into cow pose. As you exhale, coming into cat, so rounding through the spine, draw the chin to the chest. And then inhale to lift the gaze. Exhale to draw the shoulder blades apart, tucking the tailbone and inhale to lift the gaze. So keep moving here at your own pace, finding any other organic movement that feels good, maybe shifting the hips from side to side. Just really listening to your body, honoring it and giving it what it needs. Continuing to connect with your breath, breathing in and out through the nose, maybe allowing your breath to be loud and audible. From here, find stillness, a neutral spine, and then go ahead and tuck the toes, lift the kneecaps. We're going to hover here for five, four, Three, press the ground away with your hands. Two, and one. Go ahead and lift the hips up high. Straighten out the legs. Sink the heels down towards the ground, downward facing dog. From here, spread the fingers nice and wide. Press into the palms. And then pedal out the legs. So bending one knee at a time. Lifting the hips up high. And just stretching out the back of the legs. 
Come back to a neutral downward facing dog, both legs straight, gaze at the top of the mat and step forward. Inhale to halfway lift, finding a flat back, maybe hands come to shins, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, exhale, bring hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, interlace the left fingers around the right wrist, inhale to lengthen and extend. As you exhale, bend towards the left, so getting a nice side body stretch. Breathing space into the right ribs, maybe feeling the stretch along the hip. And then inhale to come back through center. Right fingers grab the left wrist as you inhale to lengthen and extend. Exhale, bend to the right side. Grounding down through the feet and lengthening through the arms and the spine. On your next inhale, come back through center and reach the arms up, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step it back to plank. Hold here for a moment. You always have the option to come down onto the knees here in your plank pose. Wrists are stacked underneath shoulders. You're finding a nice straight line from the crown of the head to the heels. Take a big breath in as you shift your body weight forward, shoulders come past the wrist as you exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga, or lower all the way down to the ground. Inhale for your back bend, either cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze at the top of the mat, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze up and exhale, fold, hinge from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, shift your body weight forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, for your back bend. And exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Gaze at the top of the mat. Step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, bending the knees, lifting the arms up. Sink the hips down, take a big breath in. As you exhale, swing the arms backwards, coming in line with the hips, draw the belly towards the thighs, gaze down. Inhale, chair pose, lift the arms up. Exhale, arms come back, belly to thighs. Inhale, reach the arms up. This time, hold here or lift the heels coming up high on the toes. Breathe, keep the belly drawn in, and then inhale, reach the arms up, plant the feet down. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step it back to plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. By now you should start to feel the heat cultivating within your body. And we'll continue to warm up by moving through two variations of Sun Salutation B. So gazing at the top of the mat, step the right foot forward. Left foot spins flat. As you inhale, reach the arms up, warrior one. Back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Exhale, plant the hands down, step the right foot back, coming into plank and moving through your vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. This time, left foot steps forward. Back foot comes down as you inhale, reach the arms up. Hips squared towards the front of the mat, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands down. Left foot steps back to meet the right foot. Moving through, chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, chair pose. 
and exhale, hands come to heart center, standing, Tadasana. Inhale, arms come up, exhale, chair pose. Big breath in. As you exhale, sweep the arms back, belly to thighs. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, shift forward, arms come back. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, lean forward, belly to thigh. Inhale, arms come up. Hold here or lift the heels up off of the mat. Sink the hips down, breathe. And then inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale to shift forward and then exhale, chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, left foot steps forward, spinning the back foot down, and then reach the arms up, warrior one, hips squared. Exhale, release. Left foot steps back to right foot, moving through your vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands down. Right foot comes back to meet the left foot, plank. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. Meeting in downward facing dog. Gazing forward, bend the knees, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, chair pose, arms come up. Exhale, hold. Inhale, straighten out the legs, hands come to heart center, mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze up at the palms, and then find a slight back bend. So lifting the chest up towards the sky, shifting the hips forward. Come back to center. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. From here, we'll move into our standing sequence. So stepping the right foot forward, coming back into warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, find warrior two. Back foot is parallel with the back of the mat, bending into the right knee. Triangle pose as you straighten out the right leg. Right hand comes to the right shin or inside of the right foot. If you have a block here, you can use that. Staying here for a few breaths, making sure the shoulders are stacked, gazing up at the left fingertips, feeling a stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Now gaze down at the top of the mat. You're going to bend into the right knee, place the right hand down or coming onto the right fingertips. We're going to transition into balancing half moon. So standing on the right leg to lift the left leg up, stacking the hips here, lifting the left arm up, shoulders are stacked. So same body position as we were in triangle pose, but this time we're balancing on the right leg. Slowly lower the left foot to meet the right foot. Left hand comes down, forward folds. Wrapping the arms around the back of the legs, drawing the crown of the head towards the floor. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up, chair pose. Straighten out the legs, reach the arms up. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step it back to plank and move through your vinyasa. If you need to skip the vinyasas at any time, feel free just to come into downward facing dog. Now gazing at the top of the mat, left foot steps forward, warrior one. Arms sweep up, hips squared. Now exhale, open the hips for warrior two. Back foot is parallel with the back of the mat, arms extended. 
gazing at the front fingertips. Then finding triangle pose, straightening out the left leg. Left hand comes down to the shin or inside of the left foot. Keeping the shoulders stacked, gazing up at the fingertips. Continuing to breathe here. In and out through the nose, feeling the stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Now slowly bring your gaze down at the top of the mat, bending into the left knee, planting the left hand down or coming onto the left fingertips. You can also use a block here if you need to. And then lift the right leg up, coming into balancing half moon Ardha Chandrasana. Shoulders are stacked. Strong through the left leg. Hips are stacked. Take two strong, deep breaths here. Good, and then lower the right leg down to meet the left. Right hand comes down, forward folds. Big inhale as you bend the knees, reach the arms up, chair pose. And straighten out the legs, reach the arms up. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a breath here. Now grounding through the left leg, reach the right leg up. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, twist right knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend the right leg back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hug the right knee into the chest and then step the right foot forward, top of the mat, finding warrior one. Reach the arms up. Exhale to open the hips, warrior two. Bending into the right knee, gazing over the right fingers. And then shift your body weight forward as you flip the front palm, reverse warrior, left hand comes to the left leg. Extended side ankle, right hand comes down inside of the right foot, left arm reaches up and over. For a modification, you can bring the right elbow on top of the right thigh, just above the knee. Inhale to lift yourself back up into warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Step the right foot back to meet the left foot. Moving through your vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. Grounding down through the right foot as you lift the left leg for three like a dog. Big inhale. Exhale, twist left knee to the right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hug the left knee into the chest and step the left foot forward. Warrior one, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, shift forward, flip the front palm. Exhale, reverse warrior. Extended side ankle, left hand comes down, reach the right arm up and over, or bringing the left elbow on top of the left thigh. Encouraging that left knee to open, breathing here. Then lift yourself back up for warrior two, and cartwheel the hands down, left foot steps back to meet the right foot, plank. Moving through your vinyasa. Finding downward facing dog. Gaze at the top of the mat, bend the knees, step or jump forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
We're going to move into tree pose from here, grounding into the right foot. Bring the left foot either inside of the left thigh or the calf. Bring hands to heart center. Engage your core by drawing the low belly in towards the spine. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Keep the hands at heart center or extend the arms up overhead. Really grounding down through the right foot. If you want to challenge your balance here, you can close the eyes. Embracing the wobbles. Release your foot and then extend the left leg in front of you, bending the left knee. Bring hands to heart center, moving through a power flow as you reach the left leg back, coming into high lunge, keeping the hands to heart center, bending into the right knee. Lift your body weight forward as you step into the right leg, lift the left leg, coming back into your standing position with the left knee bent. Now go ahead and straighten out the left leg using your core and balance here. And then bend the left knee, step the left foot back, coming into high lunge. Hands to heart center. Press into the right leg, lift the left leg up, bending the knee, and then straighten out the left leg. Good, bend the left knee, step the left foot back, high lunge. Bend into the right knee, Step into the right leg, left leg lifts. Straighten out the left leg, hold here one last time. And then bend the knees, step the left foot back, high lunge. This time reach the arms up, sink the hips down. And then plant the hands down, coming onto the fingertips. Readjust your back leg to come into pyramid pose. So straightening out the right leg and folding over the leg, feeling a stretch in the back of the hamstrings. We'll hold here for a few breaths so you can release the head and neck, rounding through the spine. Hips are squared, facing the front of the mat. So imagine that you're drawing the right hip back and the left hip forward. Toes are facing forward. Take two strong, deep breaths here. And then gaze forward, bend into the right knee, plant the hands, step the right foot back to meet the left, finding plank pose. Inhale, shift your body forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend, exhale, downward facing dog. From here, gaze at the top of the mat, step or jump forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. This time, grounding down through the left foot, coming into tree pose by bending the right knee. Hands are at heart center. Drawing the low belly in towards the spine to keep the core engaged. Now we're going to keep hands at heart center here, really pressing the palms together to engage the pec muscles. Chest stays lifted and you're relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Breathing in and out through the nose. Take one last deep breath here. And then release your foot, bring the leg in front of you, bending the knee, and then step that right foot back, coming into high lunge, keeping the hands in prayer position at the heart. Step into the left foot, lift the right leg up, bending the knee, and then straighten out the right leg here. Bend the right knee, step the right foot back, high lunge. Bending into the left knee, step the right foot forward, bending the right knee and then straightening out the right leg. Step the right leg back, high lunge. And then step forward, lift the right leg up, bending the right knee and then straightening out the right leg. 
One last time here, stepping the right leg back and then reach the arms up, coming into high lunge, Anjane Asana, hips are squared. And then exhale, plant the hands down, straightening out the left leg, readjusting that back foot if you need to, and folding over the left leg, finding pyramid pose. Let the upper body hang completely heavy. Feel the shoulder blades draw apart. Again, hips are squared here. Finding full deep breaths. Take one last breath here. And then lift the gaze, plant the palms down, bend into the left knee. As you step the left foot back to meet the right foot, plank pose. Moving through a vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. Taking a breath here. Reconnect back to the breath. And then go ahead and walk the hands back to meet the feet, coming into a forward fold, maybe wrapping the arms around the back of the legs, allowing the crown of the head to drop down towards the mat, just getting a deep stretch in the back of the both legs. Gently lifting your gaze and walking the hands forwards, coming back into downward facing dog. Now from here, we're going to play around with handstand. So if you feel more comfortable in a different inversion, maybe headstand, feel free to go there, or you can pause the video and move your mat so that you're against the wall if you feel more comfortable having the wall for supports. But we're going to go ahead and play around with finding bunny hops into an L-shaped handstand. So you're going to lift your gaze, look down at the palms, make sure that the hands are shoulder width distance apart, the fingers are spread nice and wide, and you're really gripping the mat here. So finding what's called spider fingers by pressing the palms and the tips of the fingers into the mat so that the knuckles are lifted. So you're really trying to find a nice strong support here with the palms. And as you move into your handstand, you wanna make sure that you're keeping the shoulders stacked above the wrists. So elbows above wrists, shoulders above elbows. Now to prepare to come into your handstand shape, you wanna make sure that your dominant leg is back and your opposite leg is forward. So for me, I like to kick up with my right leg. So my left leg is going to be bent and I'm going to lift the right leg up here. As I bend into the left knee, I'm going to gently kick my right leg up. So I'm kicking my right leg up and I'm finding an L shape and my left leg is going to hover down. So I'm hugging my left thigh in towards my belly to find supports. I'm grounding down through my palms and I'm engaging my core. So play around with your bunny hops here, just gently kicking up and seeing if you can balance. Find two more bunny hops. Maybe you can lift one leg up, maybe you can lift both legs up, but just have fun with it. If you need to take a break, you can shake out the hands by coming down onto the knees. And feel free to pause the video if you'd like more time to play around here. But whenever you're ready, you can come down into child's pose. And we'll find a cleansing breath here by taking a big breath in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. So 
slowly lifting the gaze, coming onto hands and knees. From here, we'll move into pigeon pose by stepping the right knee forward, sinking the hips down. Left leg is straight behind you. The right shin doesn't necessarily have to be parallel with the front of the mat. We're more focused on trying to keep the hips squared here. So coming up onto the fingertips to keep the chest lifted. Trying to keep the left hip down. Sometimes it'll have a tendency to lift up. And from here, you can walk the hands forward, coming into a forward fold or a sleeping swan, as it's called in yin. You can rest your forehead on your hands or on your arm or a block. Resting the belly against the right thigh as you breathe. Just allowing the breath to Slow down. On your next inhale, slowly lift yourself up. Planting the hands down, lifting the right leg up, and then placing the right knee back to meet the left. Shift the hips from side to side, releasing any tension and then step the left knee forward in between the hands, sinking the hips down to come into pigeon pose. Coming onto the fingers, lifting the chest, keeping the heart open, feeling the stretch in the left hip and the right hip flexor. Now from here, you can walk the hands forward Coming into a forward fold, resting your forehead down, softening throughout the body. Allowing the breath to be easy here. Breathing in, breathing out. On your next inhale, slowly lift yourself up. Coming onto the left outer hip to swing the right leg forward. Coming into staff pose, so both legs are straight here. Planting the hands behind the hips as you press the palms into the ground, straightening out the arms, lifting the chest, growing tall through the spine. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, lean forward, hinge from the hips, reaching the arms for the toes or the back of the legs and coming into a forward fold. Rounding through the upper back if you'd like, releasing the forehead to the knees. Inhale to slowly lift yourself up. Plant the hands behind you, slightly wider than shoulder width distance apart. Fingers are facing towards the front of the mat. Now from here, bend the knees, placing the feet on the mat. We're going to move into reverse tabletop pose and some flow to engage the core. So as you inhale, lift the hips up high, bending the knees. Holding here as you engage your core strong through the legs. Take a big breath in and then as you exhale, straighten out the legs, bring the hips between the arms, hovering the glutes just above the mat. And then inhale, lift the hips forward, lift the hips up, reverse tabletop. Exhale. Hover the glutes, straighten out the legs, and hold. Engage your core. 
three, two, and one. Sink the hips back down. Go ahead and lay all the way down on your spine. Hugging the knees into the chest. Taking one breath here. And then release the hands alongside your body, palms face down. Extend the legs up, straightening out the legs. So the legs are at a 90 degree angle. And just allowing gravity to assist in increasing blood circulation. And choosing to stay here for a few more moments. Or you can move into a supported shoulder stand. So you're going to bring the hands underneath the low back for support. Using your core to lift the legs up keeping the legs straight so hips are going to be stacked above the shoulders chin tucked into the chest continue to breathe choosing to stay here or slowly lowering the legs behind you to come into plow pose keeping the legs straight seeing if the toes can reach the back of the mat if they don't, keep your hands supported underneath your low back. If they do, you can interlace the fingers here, pressing the palms into the ground. You could also come into ear pressure pose by bending the knees, bringing them above the shoulders. When you're ready, slowly bring the knees to the forehead lowering the low back and the hips to the mat. Keeping the knees hugged into the chest, place the left hand to the outer edge of the right knee as you draw the knees over towards the left side, coming into a supine twist. Right arm is extended out to the side and you're gazing over the right shoulder. You can keep the left hand on top of the right knee for support. Slowly bring your gaze back to center, hug the knees into the chest, right hand comes to the outer edge of the left knee as you drop the knees over towards the right side, gazing over the left shoulder. Imagine that you're trying to press the left shoulder down towards the ground, getting a deeper twist. And then slowly bring your gaze back to center, hug the knees into the chest and find happy baby. So arms come inside of the legs, wrapping the hands around the outer blades of the feet, drawing the knees down towards the outer ribs, gently rocking from side to side. Gently release your feet back down, preparing for our final resting pose. So you can either extend the legs here, or you can come into Supta Baddha Konasana, recline butterfly pose by bringing the soles of the feet together and opening the knees out wide. You can extend the arms alongside the body or place the left hand over your heart and the right hand over your low belly. Finding a cleansing breath here, exhaling where you are. Inhaling through the nose. Open the mouth and exhaling. Take a moment to allow your breath to come back to a slow, natural rhythm. 
letting go of ujjayi breath, letting go of controlling the breath, and just allowing yourself to rest here. Feel free to pause this video to give yourself time to rest in Shavasana, which I highly encourage you doing after a strong power class like today. We're going to make our way up into a comfortable seated position. So whenever you're ready, slowly drawing the knees together or bending the knees and finding your way in a seated position. Keeping the eyes closed and resting the hands on top of the knees. Taking this moment to Notice what is currently present for you. Notice any physical sensations. Notice how you feel on an emotional level. And without any judgments, just simply observing your thoughts observing your emotions perhaps you feel a sense of inner calmness of relaxation maybe you feel strong or empowered How can you intentionally take these emotions, these feelings, if they serve you, into your life off of the yoga mat? Bringing our hands to heart center, prayer position. Just finding a sense of gratitude for our practice today. Bringing the thumbs to the third eye, the space in between the eyebrows, and together we'll bow our heads. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I hope you continue to have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next class soon.